Welcome to a new episode of Mathartic. In this question, a square is given, the length of the square side is 2, and two quarter circles, as shown here and here, are given. The question asks to find the area of this color segments. Let's just start solving it. We know that in this quarter circles, this corner is basically the center of the circle. And if you connect the center to any points on the circle, you basically draw the radius of the circle. The same thing is for this quarter circle. And if you connect the center to any point, you have radius. So we're going to use this fact and draw a radius for each circle. First, I'm going to connect this center to this point. Next, this circle to this point. And we know that each of them are radius and the radius of these quarter signal is equal to the length of this side because you know this is quarter circle and this is basically the radius and radius is 2. So we have radius here which is 2, we have radius here which is 2 and also this line is the side of this square which is also 2. Now we formed a equilateral triangle here where all the sides are equal to each other and we know that in such a triangle, the angles are 60 degree and 60 degree and 60 degree. So all angles are equal and all sides are equal. Now, if you take a look at this part, this is a sector of a, a circle. Maybe I can draw it here so you can clearly see this. So if we have a circle like this, the shown segment is something like this where we have 60 degree here and this is a sector uh, inside this circle so we have same thing here and if i subtract the area of this triangle from the area of this sector the remaining part will be this region which i call it as s1 we will later find out why s1 is important so we have 60 degree over 360 multiplied by area of the circle which is pi times r squared r is equal to 2 so we have 4 here minus area of this equal lateral triangle that we have here and i'm going to use one hint if we have a equilateral triangle with side let's say a the area of this triangle is square root of 3 divided by 4 times a squared well, we're going to use the same formula so square root of 3 divided by 4 times a squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4. And S1 is going to be 2 pi over 3 minus the square root of 3. Okay, now we know the area of this part. In a square, uh, the angles are right angles. So we have 90 degree here. And if the upper part is 60, the remaining part is 30. So if you take a look at this sector, this is also a, a sector in a circle which has angle now 30 degrees. It's very similar to what we had here, but uh, with 30 degree. And if I subtract the area of this S1 from the area of this sector, what remains is basically the uh, colored region in the right hand side, which I call it as S2. So S2 is equal to uh, area of that sector which is now 30 degree over 360 times p r squared minus s1 which is 2 pi over 3 minus square root of 3 and if you uh, simplify this you have pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 plus square root of 3 and we have square root of 3 minus pi over 3 as area of S2. Now if we take a look at the left hand side we have another region that has a 3 and you can apply exactly the same step to obtain a 3 and a 3 has the same area as S2 therefore total area is 2 times S2 which is equal to 2 times square root of 3 minus 2 times pi over 3. Yeah this is at the end of the question, if you like the question, please press the like button. 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.